Yeah, they're all different in so many different ways. Like, yeah, every 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 school has been different. And every time you do that, you learn something, you know, and take something from each school. So how do, how do you so, get uh, how do you get like the family to be down for all these moves? Yeah, that was not, you know, obviously with the first move, it was like, hey, this, you know, is a big decision. It's so funny, like you watch like David Taylor, now the Oklahoma State coach. I don't know if you saw his interview, but he talked about, you know, they talked about like, when did you know? And when did you make this decision? And, 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 and I imagine like I, you know, can imagine like what's going through his head. Like he's thinking, you know, it's a quick decision. Like they reach out and, and then all of a sudden it's like, it moves very fast. And he's think and he's like, realizes like, yeah, this is a lot. Like his whole, like he said, like he had been, um, you know, in Pennsylvania for a certain number of years where he was rooted and had a business and had, you know, his wrestling club. And it's like, Hey, you're moving your whole family from, you know, across the state, across the country, you know, you know, um, and his animals too. And his animals. That's right. <laughs> Yeah. But, you know, I think, uh, yeah, for, for me, for our family, like, I think the first move, you know, my kids were young, they were, you know, in kindergarten and then not yet in school. So that, you know, they, they're pretty resilient. And so, um, you know, that, that move was, was easy for us, a family, like we, it was a good move for us. And that was very, that was an easy, easy decision, I want to say. Um, but you know, that second move was like, okay, like, uh, my wife's from Colorado. So that's kind of what led to that, that change. Like the AD had reached out from the junior college, like after Boise state dropped their program and just probably put the perfect email at the right time. And, um, you know, then come to find out it's a few hours from where my wife was from. And so, you know, I, I look back and I think like, okay, yeah, you know, I met my wife in Colorado at Adam state and then, you know, drug her out to California. So her family's in Colorado. So I moved her from like where her family was and, um, you know, which is easy for a coach because when you go to another program, you're immediately in another family. Like you got a bunch of wrestlers and it just, it, there's a ton of relationship and it's, and you're just engulfed in, and, you know, a wrestling program and it's just very easy adjustment for a coach, but for, for a wife, you know, that's, it's different. And, um, yeah. So, you know, then, then my wife's twin sister moves out to Bakersfield and she's living there for gosh, probably five years. And then, and then we up and moved to, to Boise. And so, uh, you know, that was, that was hard moving away from, you know, from, from her family there, but um, yeah, it was a, uh, it was a good move. And then, yeah, again, short lived. And then, and then making that decision, my next move was like, okay, yeah, let's, let's, let's get near her family and just kind of catch our breath. And, and then once I got to Northeastern, I was there for a year. And then the head coach at Colorado Mesa reached out and said, Hey, I just uh, lost my assistant coach. I need an assistant coach and I'm planning to retire and looking for somebody to take over the program. And so I had just been there a year. I had just recruited and i mean i'm looking like and it's funny you know because you know you go from boise state to northeastern junior college so recruits are like okay like well how long are you going to be here at this junior college i mean you're at a four-year school before you had division one like are you really are you going to stay here and uh you know in my mind it was like yeah this is the third school in three years for my son like and he's one that doesn't doesn't really adjust or light change um and so yeah i mean i i was like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to make it four years and, and, you know, four schools in four years. Like I'm not, I'm not leaving, you know, I mean, I didn't have any plans to leave. And, um, and so it was shortly after finishing that recruiting class that the, the, the coach Piper, the head coach here had reached out. And so, and I had, it's funny. I, so I came out here to visit though, just to check things out and, um, kind of told them, you know, my situation was, yeah, I just, told, you know, recruited a whole class and told them I'd be here. And so I just don't feel right. I don't feel right leaving those guys and those, you know, parents that I just told like, yeah, I'm going to be here when your kid gets here. I'm going to be here when you get here. And um, so I said, you know, but if you wait a year, you know, I'll, 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 I'll come, I'll come out. And um, he's like, oh, I don't know if I can wait a year, you know, hold the position. 
but you know, long story short, obviously he, he did, but you know, looking back, I'm thinking like, man, that was crazy. Cause Colorado Mesa, awesome. It's an awesome campus, a great city. Like this is, this is a great spot to be. And so I'm super thankful to be here, but I think back and I'm like, man, I just told this guy like, Hey, sorry, you know, find somebody else if you need to, but here I am, you know, and, 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 and Sterling in Northeastern, just not a, not a place I'd want to like, live or raise my family i mean it's not that it's just not my it's not my place and, and, and just yeah it wasn't uh wasn't where i would have wanted to be long term you know you didn't know that but i felt like you know god sovereign like i felt like it was the right move when i went to to sterling like this is and it was great you know and um yeah thankful for for how things have have gone like i you know, you don't know in the middle of it. And I think you look back and you're like, oh, wow. Like I see like God's sovereignty and everything. And, and like, I'm at the perfect place. And those places that I were before were, were all great. And, but it led me to where I am right now. But, but I, but I do reflect back and I'm very thankful. And I told this to the head coach, you know, like, a few times while I was here. And then he just, you know, obviously he, he retired a couple of years ago and just told him like, yeah, so thankful that, you know, he didn't have to do that. I mean, he basically went a year without a full-time coach, had some other part-time coaches that just limped him through the year and got, got him through the year. And, and then, um, and then I was out here April 1st, um, that following year. And, and then, uh, and then when I got here, you know, and of course, you know, I don't want to say I don't have a trust for administration, but obviously when you move from one place, you go to Boise State and you say, hey, you know, how, how secure is this program? Oh, this program secure. And, and so I was looking back like, well, okay, if I make this move, like I want this to be my final like place. Like I don't want to move again. Like this, a lot of moving for my kids and I'm mindful of that. And my wife's been super supportive through it all. She's been great. And, and the kids were too, but you know, when, and, so I think they were maybe fourth and fifth grade when we moved here, if I remember right. Um, and that's kind of that age where, you know, still going to make friends pretty quickly. You know, you don't want to move kids. And, and now, you know, my son's going to be in high school next year and daughter will be in eighth hey. grade next year. I know. So like, you know, moving now is a lot more significant than when they're in, you know, fourth and fifth grade. And so, um, but I, but I, I, I was saying that I, I, uh, remember just thinking, I'm like, yeah, like could have easily said, all right, Hey, I appreciate you coming to visit, but I'm finding another coach, you know? And, and I remember writing him a long email kind of expressing like, look, this can work. And let me tell you how it can work. Like it was long, I could put a ton into it. And I'm like, all right, send like, and he, yeah. And so he fun, you know, it's funny. He just reflects on that. He's like, yeah, you know, I wasn't sure, but. And you sent that email and I'm like, all right, I can make this happen.